So the problem didn't ask for this, but let's say I want to find out the total force that's pushing. That's pretty easy, right? How can I find the total force? If I know the force in the x direction, and I know the force in the y direction, how do you find the hypotenuse? I can use which simple equation? The Pythagorean theorem, right? This is the force of the wall. I can just say a squared plus b squared equals what? c squared, right? So all I got to do is take the square root. Let's find the total force. Let's just finish this off, right? Of uh, 166 squared plus 527.5 squared. And I get a total force of 553 newtons there. So in real life, an architect would have to make sure that the force of that hinge can support at least 553 newtons. And actually, technically, to be complete, a force is a vector, right? It has size and direction. I could find that angle theta. I could use the uh, inverse tangent function. I could do inverse tangent of opposite side over adjacent side. So that would be inverse tangent of 527.5 over the x component of 166. And I get a final angle of like 72.5 degrees there. So this angle is about 72.5 degrees from the horizontal. So in real life, in order to uh, design a system that will not collapse, you have to account for not only all the forces, but also all of the torques, the twisting forces. So pretty much what we just did in part B is uh, a review of forces in equilibrium, but now we add to that torques in equilibrium where they balance out. If your head hurts, you're doing something right. Good job.